Right, welcome back. Uh, I think this is actually the first time ever you can somewhat see out of my window here. But anyways, going live on the internet for the first time ever can definitely be a scary thing. And I've definitely had to deal with this as well. Being in front of everyone live on the internet and showing your face or even just speaking and generally just putting yourself out there can be extremely, extremely scary. So I'm here to help you. Yo, Mr. Imo, my name's Rayo, and welcome to the best place for gamers, streamers, and content creators who are looking to turn their passion into a career. So make sure you hit the subscribe button with the no notification bell so you can continue getting the best advice on how to turn your dreams into a reality. So going live means that anyone can join your stream and watch you and possibly judge the hell out of you. They will watch you and they will either decide that you're cool enough and they will stay longer in your chat and maybe even follow you or they can decide that you're not really that interesting and maybe they will even see that you have no idea what you're doing. Uh, maybe they don't like your face or your voice. This happens a lot actually and they will leave. So in one aspect there's gonna be a judgment and this is something we are extremely afraid of when we first start off and that is just the surface level and it's really easy to fix which i'm gonna show you how to do later in this video but there's also a much much deeper level here as well that you're maybe not even aware of and that's really been stopping you from doing your first live stream for months or maybe years and if you don't fix that, then you're probably never going to do a live stream in your life. There are millions of people who have given up on something they really want to accomplish just because of this one thing. And that thing is the fear of success. Now you're probably wondering like, what do you mean? Why should I be afraid of success? Of course I want to be successful. That's why I looked up the video of how to get over the fear of streaming because I want to get over this fear. Well, let's say you've been working a nine to five job for some time now and in your spare time you play video games or you just do your hobbies and for years you've been dreaming about becoming a streamer. And you enjoy dreaming about it. You enjoy visualizing how people tune in into your streams just to watch you and be there for you. You visualize them subscribing to you and following and donating to you and supporting you any way they can. And in general, you just dream about having a fun and stress-free life, just playing video games with your friends and your community, throwing poke champs in the chat and just being around to people you like. If that's something you've been dreaming of or you're already doing it, then hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people who dream about this can see this video and they can get started as well. But anyways, whenever it actually comes to doing it, whenever it comes to actually going and downloading the OBS software or whichever streaming software and, and setting the whole stream up with, with alerts and stuff, then you always cramp up there's something stopping you here and it's always the same thing and your mind starts saying things like yeah I really want to do it but I can't do it right now because you know I had that thing at work I gotta finish first and then at home I have I don't know the garden I, I need to mow the lawn <laughs> I don't know whatever it is you, your mind just starts coming up with excuses upon excuses so you're always just gonna push it further away and you're gonna tell yourself that yeah I'm gonna do it for sure but just sometime later it's funny how we always say sometime later I really hate that sentence and I know for sure both you and me here we have been using this sentence in our life for thousands of times probably and the irony here is that I'm still doing it even right now because I want to start a coaching business where I help other people uh, turn their passion into a career and I know it's the right thing to do and I know I really really want to do it but every time I start to think of doing this then my mind goes just yeah yeah you know I, I know I have to do this I really want to do it I'll do it but you know just sometime later and it's annoying as hell so anyways just leave a comment down below if you're doing the same thing if you're just telling yourself over and over again that you're gonna do it but sometime later you're gonna start streaming but you know sometime later and I just want to help you realize that when you're reading the comments you can see that you're not alone pretty much everyone who starts out with something new struggles with this thing all right now listen the reason you feel that is because where you are right now in your life feels really really comfortable like your brain feels really comfortable just in this moment here the thing is that we seek comfort everywhere we don't want to feel uncomfortable because even if i say the word uncomfortable it feels 
it feels uncomfortable because what's related to that word anxiety struggle hardship uh uncertainty and not having it easy these are all the things that we want to avoid really really bad but here's the trick whenever you start something new in, in your life all these feelings they have to come up there's no there's no going past them like you have to face those feelings and what's funny is that we know that the thing that makes us happy and will get closer to us, our dreams is something we have to do but starting something new is so uncomfortable that we are willing to sabotage ourselves just so we can stay where we are and never progress i mean yes by staying where you are you might not feel happy or fulfilled or whatever but at least you are doing just fine, you know? That's what your brain is telling you. You're doing just fine. <laughs> I mean, do you want to feel just fine for the rest of your life or do you want more? So probably because you are watching this video, uh, hopefully it means that you really do want more in your life. So my question to you is, what are you gonna do about it? Are you just gonna sit there and whine about how some random dude on the internet is gonna join your stream and diss you? I mean, what if that's true? Imagine the worst thing that can happen when you go live. Imagine some random dude joining your stream and straight up just spamming kek W's in your chat and making fun of your voice, your face, I don't know, your stream quality, whatever, and for 10 minutes and then he's just gonna leave. He's never gonna come back. How's that gonna feel? It probably doesn't feel really good, but so what? Are you gonna go back to feeling just fine? <laughs> That's such a memeable uh, sentence. But anyways, I mean, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna quit streaming and go back to being just fine with your life? Or are you gonna say to yourself that, yeah, that kind of sucked and maybe even hurt a little, but you know what? I'm just starting out with this thing, so I'm, I'm aware that these things can happen. The trolls, they sometimes do, do join random streams and say those things but I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing anyway and then you basically just shrug it off like it never happened now if you understand all this but you still feel paralyzed about the thought of being in front of a camera and showing your face then the best advice I can give you here is to baby steps and what I mean exactly by this is that when you're never done a live video in your life then start off by doing a li live call with your friend I remember when I first started streaming uh, I was still doing photography back then and I felt really comfortable that like that was my comfort zone being behind the camera like taking the pictures doing the video but the thought of being in front of the camera here right where i am right now felt extremely weird for me and unusual and so i started out by just doing short instagram stories on my phone on my instagram account and then uh, i transitioned into doing short uh, instagram lives and then as i felt more comfortable being in front of a lens um, i started streaming and then because i was already kind of comfortable being in front of a camera because of the experience with instagram stories and instagram lives I, it didn't feel that weird being live uh, in front of a twitch audience and because i had built up some confidence doing those things then uh, while streaming on twitch i didn't have to worry about being how do I look in front of the cameras and I could fully focus on just the streaming aspects of things like uh, are my alerts working, um, is the music working in the stream, how's the sound, how's the stream quality etc etc so all in all there's a lot going on when you stream on Twitch you have to follow all these things but if you have that one aspect of just being in front of a camera you have that under control you feel comfortable already then you're not gonna feel overwhelmed as much so again what i want you to do here is just start out by doing some short instagram stories or instagram live streams or just call your friends on a video call and get started that way so i think if you understand the surface issue and you use baby stepping to overcome that and you also have an understanding of what's going on on the deeper level then you should have no issues at all going live for the first time ever and starting your own streaming career so if there's anything missing or anything you'd like to add then definitely do that in the comment section i'd like to hear your opinion of this and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet i hope you enjoyed this video and as always Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. GG.